Hey guitar players, welcome to triadmusicstudio.com, guitar lessons fast, fun, and easy.com. I'm Gene. Uh, today we're going to do the lesson for Emerson Lake and Palmer's Lucky Man song. So let's get started. Okay, so this song is in the key of D. And the chords we're going to be using are going to be D, uh, G, it'll be an A minor, and an E minor or E minor 7. And it's kind of up to you if you want to do the E minor, E minor 7. It could be done like that to E minor 7. So, and there's, if you uh, play a lead to this, whether it's a solo intro or the outro or the lead in the middle, it's the D major scale. It's being used. There's a total of four verses and four choruses. There's also an outro and an intro if you want to put it in, an intro or outro or not, including the solo or not. Uh, and we start out, uh, it starts with two verses and two choruses. So it's a verse and a chorus and another verse and another chorus. And then it does a solo again if you want. And then it does the last two verses and choruses. The rhythm pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Counting one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. The intro, if you want to put it in, is, goes from a G to a D. So, G gets two measures, or two times if you count, one, two, and three in. You switch to a D, and do the same thing, it's two measures, or two times of counting, one, two, and three in. And then it does both of them again, another two measures of G and another two measures of D. If you like, you can, maybe you're happy with just doing one of each. Maybe you'd like to do, instead of two, three or four of each, because you want a little lead intro. Uh, again, that's up to you, how you want to play the song. I do my thing with it, however I feel like at the time, what makes me happy. Do the same. This is about having fun. Uh, Alright, so we start with a verse for chorus number one, and we're doing the same thing. We're doing a G, Three and one, two and three. And we go to D. Now, you can play just that straight D. Or you can put in some suspendeds, hammer-ons and pull-offs there, like uh, G. He had wide horses. See that? One more time. the score. Okay, so the point is, is we're doing a G, two measures, and a D for two measures, with or without the suspended fourth and suspended second. Kind of like the intro was doing, you know, the G and the D thing. And you need to do them for four times to get all the words in for the first verse. Uh, and then it changes to the first chorus, which is an A minor. Counting one, two, and three in two times to an E minor or E minor seven. I like the E minor seven, like so. I don't like playing just an e, e minor with it. I like the way the E minor seven voices better with this song. And I like playing it like this instead of playing it like that. It just sounds better here. What a lucky man. Okay, that too gets two measures of down, down, up, down, up. Then we go to a D. He was. It too gets two measures, and again, with or without the suspended. So I like chucking them in. Especially there in the chorus. So we did an A minor, 
uh, uh, two count, uh, two measures, an E minor seven, two measures, and the D uh, two measures. Uh, that needs to be done, all of that, twice to get all the, the words in uh, for the chorus, because the chorus is sung twice. Ooh, what a lucky man he was. Ooh, what a lucky man he was. Twice. Now that essentially is the whole tune. Those, those chord, the chord progression I gave you there for the verses, that's how the verses are done, and the same thing for the chorus. We, we just would now go to verse 2, which is white lace and feathers. They made up his bed, etc. You play that for X amount of time to come to. Again, the second chorus. With, Ooh, what a lucky man he was. Now you can put a solo in if you like. And remember, the solo, if you want to put one in, it's a D major scale. You could probably use the B blue scale if you want to. You do your thing, or you can try to copy the actual lead that they played. Uh, I'm going to do a performance on this, but, but anyway, um, you don't have to put a solo in either if you don't like. Just sing the song, which is still a lot of fun without putting a solo in, which would bring us to chorus number three, which starts out, he went to five wars for his country and his king and so on, which takes us to then the third, uh, excuse me, that was the second verse, uh, uh, the third verse, which brings us to the third chorus. Again with, ooh, what a lucky man he was. And then we come to the fourth, fourth verse, which is starting on a G, a bullet had found him. His blood ran as he cried and so on to the fourth chorus. Ooh, what a lucky man was uh, and that is essentially it uh, you know we can end it on that Ooh. what a lucky man he was you can end it right there if you like uh, or just a straight D what a lucky man he was or you can do an outro uh, with it, like they do when they get into the uh, synthesizer and, uh, and uh, all the organ stuff uh, this, this, that they're doing, the keyboard work. Um, with his synth that he has, um, we could do it with a guitar instead. Something kind of lead outro or, or what have you. All right, let's back out. Okay, so uh, most songs that I uh, teach, I also do a performance video on. Most of them, not, maybe not every one, but most of them. And they're on the website, uh, triadmusicstudio.com. Uh, you can go there and look and see both of them. Uh, oh, there's the performance, there's the, the, the lesson uh, one, and, and check them out or use both of them to your advantage. Um, I am going to do, uh, like to say, a live performance in this one as well. So, I hope you like this song. I hope you like the lesson. As always, thank you for being here. Please subscribe. And thank you so very much. Later.